Thank you for joining. I've had some success upselling my membership levels by actually embedding Google, Facebook, Thumbtack, Yelp, and other reviews directly onto the member profiles as you see here on the screen. So what I'm gonna show you, because I've had several inquiries on how to do this, what you can see here are actual Google and Facebook reviews embedded on this member's profile in my directory called Go Local Arizona. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And these are actual reviews. You can see 22 reviews. These are live updating. You can see them here and they will update live using the widget that I'm going to show you right now. So let's get started. In the description below, you're going to see a link to this widget, and I would appreciate it if you would click that link and use that link. That is an affiliate link, and that means I'll get a little bit of payment back for referring the software to new users. Let me show you how it works. This app is called Elf Site. It's actually really affordable. Click the link below, and you'll see the details of it. I've already logged in to make this go a little bit quicker. But once you come into Elf Site, there are several different widgets that you can use to accomplish what I'm going to show you. There are specific widgets for Google reviews and Yelp reviews and Facebook reviews. And there's a widget for all-in-one reviews, which means you can do multiple reviews. But what I'm going to just show you to keep it simple is how to embed Google reviews onto a Brilliant Directory's member profile. Okay, I'm just going to click right in here and it's going to ask you to set up a widget and you can set up as many widgets as you need basically on this app. What it charges you is when you go over 5,000 views per month on one of your widgets. If you look to the left, you can see all these different layouts. I'm not gonna go through all these, there's, but there's a whole bunch of choices. I'm just gonna stick with this first carousel widget and I'm going to continue with this template. The restaurant I'm going to demonstrate for you is called The Toast Craft Kitchen and Cocktails. All you have to do is enter the business name here, the city, and then hit search. Now, sometimes it's not gonna find your business that easily, but you can put in the Google Place ID and it'll find it that way, okay? What it's gonna do right now is it's gonna go through and pull all of the reviews from Google. Now, this restaurant has 80 reviews as it shows here, so that's going to take a minute, so we're gonna let this run and load those reviews up. Okay, it is now done. Now you can make several customizations to the widget and I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that because you can do that on your own. What I wanted to do is just show you how easy it is to get this widget going on your website and then you can go back and customize it to make it look good. It's found the 80 reviews and it's loaded some of them here. Right now we're gonna to continue to the layout so you can completely change the layout of this widget. Look at this. And this is really cool. All these different ways of doing it. You can do a floating badge. You can do an embeddable badge, carousel, masonry, and then you can even customize it on top of that. So I'm going to pick masonry, a number of posts to display. You can change those numbers there. So I'm going to put it to 10. The gap is the distance between the reviews. I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit to 10. The width, I take this down to 600 for my directory. You can customize so many things the widget title. We're going to call this reviews from around the web. You could actually leave that blank and customize that text within Brilliant Directories. So we're going to continue to the review. Okay, so many more customizations. Show author name, show picture, show date, show rating, turning all these off. You can see all the different customizations and these will be live on your Brilliant Directory or your other website if you're coming to this from a different website platform. You can do short review, full review, and then you can totally customize the appearance and that's the next step. So you can change the color of everything. You can do dark scheme, light scheme. You can customize the alignment, just all these different things, title size, caption size. And again, you'll do that how you need to do that. You can drop in some custom CSS. You can customize the load more button, which is right here. So instead of loading 25 reviews, it loads a few of them and then you can load more or people can load more. But imagine if Imagine how many people don't see reviews because they're not exactly easy to find on Google necessarily, but if they were embedded on their directory right there, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So some settings here, English language, you can enable or disable external links. So basically keep people from clicking off the site. That's probably not a bad idea. You can even filter the reviews 
and only show the reviews that you want to show or that your client wants to show. What I like to do is set this to four stars and above, but you can also exclude reviews. You can filter that. You can include reviews. So the customization is just amazing. Now what I did forget to do is name the widget. So you need to name the widget. I'm going to call it the toast and I'm going to actually name it Google reviews. Later on, I can remember what exactly this widget is because you know, we're going to have a lot of them. So we're going to apply that. Now let's say that's how we want it to look. You're going to just click the add to website button. Here's the code. You can request them to install it, but it's just so easy. You're just going to copy the code. Then you're going to come over to brilliant directories. Okay. So I'm going to log in as the toast so I can add information to the about us section. What I'm going to do is add the reviews that we just created. This profile is a page I set up just to do this demonstration. So it's not a complete profile, but it at least gives you the idea of what you can do. So I go into the about us section. I've got a couple of things that I put in here already title and some text and a nice photo and a description of the photo. Okay. So you might be wondering how do I add code to brilliant directories? You may not know that it's actually very simple. You click right here and you get the code view. Okay. You go down to the very bottom because I'm going to put them at the, put it at the end and you just paste it in, paste that code in right there. Save and continue. When you view the public listing, here's their page. And there are the reviews. So like I said, here you have the Google reviews, but you can also add a number of other reviews. So what we've done here is we've added Google reviews, live updating to a member's profile within brilliant directories. This widget specifically is for Google and it's even got the button right here to write a review. So people can be encouraged to write a review right here from this profile. Not only does this app Elf site do Google reviews, but it will allow you to embed a number of other types of reviews like Airbnb, Facebook, Home Advisor, Hotels.com, Open Table, Thumbtack, TripAdvisor, Trustpilot, Yelp. There's just several. Etsy, eBay, Booking.com, Amazon. So quite a powerful widget that you can use to increase the value of your membership in your brilliant directories. Hope this is helpful. Once again, I'd appreciate it if you click the link below. Please like this video or ask a question and I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you. <laughs>